So hi, welcome. Hello, hello. Um, I believe I wrote you all a letter a few weeks ago. I sent it off to a bunch of places, including every email I could. That one was more specific. Since then, I've reached out to the homeless, if you want to call it that, community as a whole. I've been doing a lot of work on the street, and I've just kind of come to deliver less than three minutes worth of message. I, I do have a, a, an address for an illegal encampment that I've recently cleaned up. But otherwise, uh, no, I'm not currently voting in the city, or I don't have an address or anything like that. But like I said, I've talked to almost all of us, so I think that's okay. okay. Do you live in the city right now? Oh, like yeah, you? big time. Okay, all right, then oh. go ahead. Oh, by all means. So anyways, thank you. Um, hello, esteemed members of the city council, uh, other guests of the chamber, uh, any online viewers. Uh, like I said, my name is Seth Champion. I'm 35. Uh, I have about 17 years of experience in homelessness in all different cities across the country. I grew up in Rockford, but uh, my parents were tied to Holcomb. I know Eau Claire and Milwaukee, Austin, Texas, Houston. I've just been all over the place. 17 years. Eau Claire is an exceptional city. America, however, is experiencing what some would more accurately referred to as relational poverty. The, the people you see on the street, homelessness and housing, they're misnomers. They don't really mean anything. At least when you get down on the street and talk to us, they, they have nothing to do with us. Here in this town especially, tens of millions of state and federal tax dollars go to private, nonprofit charities. Even if the bloated and widening homeless industrial complex did finally figure it out, I'd rather just come here and spoil the game for you on behalf of all of us. While the world continues to insulate and isolate, we have suffered under an oppressive system that takes all prisoners. I have canvassed the city's poor, like I said. I have put myself under arrest intentionally recently this week into this horror show of a county jail. It's awful. It's a full day of, it's like a TV show. I need to get the footage. I have had a great spiritual awakening. Either that or people keep asking me if I'm really high. Um, no, I am tired. A lot of work, a lot of walking. Don't let anyone else tell you what we need. I have done all the work for free. Just replace the evil privatized services, or at the very least, make sure any destitute citizen can get expedient, hell, even triage level mental health care services. It's that simple. You just spend enough money to keep the poor trapped in a system where they are made to feel unattractive and unloved. Of course, they don't ask you for help. I crashed their meeting Tuesday in the library at the top, that big glass house. It was lovely, beautiful space. All they did was stand around and shake each other's hand and talk about spending $6.2 million to build just a day shelter, which we already have. We don't need any more open air mental health asylums. Please help us. Please, please, we are all asking you. Hundreds. The city does not have a lot. There's tons of money. It's a very simple problem. And, and stop letting the, the handshakers and the smilers do this to us. I'm, I, I I'm talk sorry. to everybody. So, so you're out of time. I'm sorry. So. Yes, it's just treat others the way they want to be treated. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. That's a great place to end. Thank you. Thanks for coming down. Is there a way we can do the yellow light, two green, yellow, red? Okay. Thanks. Okay. Then we have Jason 